Okay, as you can see, I have the parts mounted up here. So hopefully you'll be able to see everything okay. So here's the box, a few bits and pieces. And we make this, I have a file here, okay? And that's for to line up the hole when I put it through onto the shaft itself. So look, we go ahead and we'll grease up um, the bearing. So what we do is we get some grease out here. A load of grease. And we lash it onto the bearing. It comes greased anyway, so it, it won't matter now to the day. We'll just throw, throw an extra bit of grease onto this and fill up the box as well, okay? Piler in here. Pack that away with grease. We'll give it something to start away on it. In through the, the sides here. This is an old part that I've saved, so you see in the video that I have. So we'll pack this up and we'll take it take it on from there. So, so there's a flat side and there's a curved side. So the curved side that obviously goes up. So we'll pop that in with the flat side down. Push that in. The grease is everywhere, so which is good. Now you can see it here as well. Shaft. On with the shaft next. It's an old part. Um, so look at it's been sanded down and it was welded. So what we're gonna do is push this down into the top here. And obviously there's grease and all coming out. So let it drop in there and pack up the rest of the grease that came out. Messy job alright. But worth saving. Now the spline itself for the gearing. Okay. Pack this with grease again as well. A bit in the inside. It'll help it for its new life. <laughs> this thing hasn't been used in years. So these are all new parts I've seen before. So pop that in there. Okay. On with the handle. So the box handle. So a bit more grease. Up the trail. want to go in the top. There we go. So it's in. So what I'm using what I'm using the foil for and the edge of the foil for was just want to line up the holes for where the pin goes. So there we go. So oh, that's it there. So it's already done and dusted. Grease on the top as well. It's well greased. That's that's it there. So it's slippy to hold all right, Busha. Look at that. Super part. Little pin I got. So I'm gonna just pop the pin into the top here and we'll tap that down. And I'll do that in a minute. So I'll probably have to put that in the voice. That little pin will go in and hold that together. And then what we'll do is, this is the old cap to come off it. This is a new inch and three quarters. And that will pop on the top. And I'll set that and I'll tap that in to see. And it just really stops the grease popping out there, okay? And stops any water actually, I should say, getting in. So there you go, it's in. I'll just need to secure that. Um, and then we open one. There's a little hole here on the back. And it, it lets you get some grease out here, so when you're topping it up on the, the grease nipple here, okay, and I have cleaned all of this. This is being cleaned. So we know there's grease going in here and it's clear. So this is a new, few new parts, Renault shaft, and it will work again and go back on the TEF20 that I have. So I'll come back to this when it's all made up, the pin gone back in and this tapped and, and cleaned on. Then we'll paint it and, 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 and refit it. Thank you.